Hello everyone, thank you for agreeing to meet on such short notice. Is this about the Interactive Introverts merch? D, the line was intense and I wasn't up for a panic attack, so there is no merch. What? Deirdre, that is not why we're here. Fine, fine, but I want my two dollars back. They were my two do- oh, forget it. We are here today for a celebration. It's- it's Percy's birthday. Yep, exactly. And I see some people know how to follow the dress code. Thank you to this half of the room. Hey, Ian, how do you know about Percy Jackson? Don't you know? There's a Percy Jackson musical! Yep, and Percy would absolutely hate that. He definitely would, but that almost makes it perfect. Anyways, I thought it could be fun if we just sort of used this as a bonding opportunity about our love for Percy and just appreciate him. And I thought maybe we could even sort ourselves into what gods we think would be our parents if we were at camp. What a wonderful idea, dearie. Oh, everybody, don't forget that I brought some mini blue sweets that are in the kitchen if you would like to participate in eating them. Oh, I'm just so glad that more people know about Percy Jackson. You know, back in my day, the fandom was so small and it was so difficult to find other people who knew what it was, but the fandom has just continued to grow and become more inclusive. You can definitely say inclusive again. The amount of representation that happens in these books is just magnificent. If you ever need to cry over anything, I recommend reading Rick Riordan's acceptance speech for the Stonewall Award that he got for Alex Fierro. I literally cried for like an hour after reading it. It was so heartfelt. These are so cute, Gran. Like food, the color blue. So, who wants to start with the sorting process? Well, I think we all know who my godly parent is. Oh yes, we most certainly do. Apollo. 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 Uh, what about you, SJ? What deity would spawn a being so justice bound? Well, again, I think the answer is pretty obvious. Athena? No, I was thinking more along the lines of Daiki. I would go with Themis because she is Lady Justice herself, but given that she was a titaness, not a goddess, the likelihood of her having a cabin at camp is much smaller. Obviously, I would be an Athena kid. Mm, I'm not so sure. You always have to ruin my fun, don't you? I'm just saying you've always struck me as more of a Demeter kid. Go on. Well, you're quietly strong, strong-willed, and I... I don't know. I've just associated you with plants and stuff, I guess. I don't know, you probably read your books in like a garden or something. I can stand behind that. Morgan's the daughter of Hermes. Why does that make so much sense? Right? But I definitely agree. Alexandra strikes me as more of a huntress as opposed to a demigod. A literal arrow ace. <laughs> I like that. Gran, you must be a daughter of Athena because you're so good with, like, weaving and other crafts and stuff. Plus, you're so wise. That is definitely right. And you're a child of Aphrodite, Misty. What? No. Why? Because you're pretty, even though you try not to be noticeable. Does someone want to trade seats with me? I think that Spy is a Hephaestus kid. I can't really explain why. Agent just is. Seriously, this is a very comfy chair. You won't be disappointed. I do quite like the thought of that. I would quit if I had more energy right now. Misty, I think you're more of a nemesis kid. Ooh, now that I like. Yeah, and besides, if anyone was going to be a child of Aphrodite, it would be Otaku. <laughs> Why is that, SJ? Mm, just, you know, it, it just seems right. Because you're cute. Ooh, ooh, now whose kid would I be? Dionysus. Really? Yes. Definitely Dionysus. Even I have to agree with that. Oh, what about you, Director? 
Don't you even know me, guys? Liz has known Zeza Poseidon Kid ever since writing her Love and Chaos fanfiction and making the main character a daughter of Poseidon. That's why the main character's name is Liz. Exactly. So Liz, is there really any point to today's meeting? Honestly, no. <laughs> this is just meant to be a fluffy vid- um, I mean, meeting to celebrate that today is Percy's birthday. The books were so important to me as a kid, and they honestly still are. I I love Percy, and I love to celebrate him. Plus, it's always nice to see how the ten of you interact. I love getting to know you better. Oh, it's nice to get to know you too, director. I am kind of disappointed that we didn't end up talking about how socially important these books are. Maybe another time when it's less of a celebration. Yeah, I guess. Don't worry, SJ. One day it will be your day to shine. Obviously, the director is saving us for a very important part of her story arc. That must be why Z hardly even acknowledges me. Yep, you just keep telling yourself that. Misty? Sorry, ground. Worry not, my creepy little demon friend. One day will be your time to shine as well as long as you don't steal spies' spotlight since Agent had the theorist job first and it is rude to steal the spotlight of the lead. Oh, I don't mind sharing a job. It's always nice to have another person to bounce your ideas off, don't you think? <laughs> Thank you, spy! Does this mean I can be your assistant? Absolutely. 